Hey guys and welcome to a another Blu-ray update. This is just one um, of titles I've got the past couple of weeks in July. I haven't been getting much else so I thought I'd just do this quick video. I've got one just normal Blu-ray, uh, one box set and one steel book. So let's crack on. The first one is 21 Jump Street. Um, it's a really good film starring Jonah Hill and Shannon Tatum. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should really check it out. It's quite funny. Um, it was a first for Channing Tatum. He's, he, it's like he hasn't been in a comedy film before, and he really pulled it off. I can't wait to see them both in the sequel. Johnny Depp also makes a cameo in this, which is really funny and unexpected. Um, but yeah, honestly, an amazing film. Also, I'd just like to say Sony are doing really well with their Blu-ray releases lately. They're releasing slip covers, not even D uh, Disney are doing that. Sorry. So, thumbs up to Sony for that. And as always with a Sony, you get artwork inside, which is good. Just take that. Nice artwork and a nice disc as well. It also does come with your ultraviolet copy. Um, I'm not going to show my code, obviously, but it's good to have. So, that's 21 Jump Street. Next is a box set, which I got for £10 from Tesco. It's really good. And it is the Spider-Man trilogy. You're not missing out if you've already got the um, older box set. It's just the same. It's just been repackaged. So, Spider-Man trilogy is embossed as well as bits of his mask. Which is really nice artwork. There's a side and the back. Just telling you technical details about the films. So I'll just chuck that. So I've forgotten to take. Oh, <laughs> I've already took my leaflets out. Okay, so Spider-Man One. So we have Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. There's the back. That's a spine. I like all the releases match up as well. And this goes with the Men in Black box set as well. It's really nice. That's Spider Man 1. The next is probably one of the better ones out of the set Spider Man 2. This version also includes theatrical and extended, which is nice. There you go. And we have the train fighting scene. Now, the third film. If you like your special, special features, this is a bit of a cop out. Because what they've done is they've used um, the disc that was actually released before this set. You can tell because it says 2007. I don't know if you can see that. 2007. And that was a two disc set. So if you like your special features, then I suppose I wouldn't recommend this set. But I don't really mind. So if you want a bargain, go for it. It's got nice artwork. Okay, so that's the Spider-Man trilogy. And last but not least is the... Dark Knight and Batman Begins Steelbook. I bought this for a rip-off HMV price of £25, which I suppose isn't bad for the two films, but you can get it on Play.com or Amazon for about £17, um, which is quite good. I'll just, I won't take the thing off the back, but I'll show you my number. There's no artwork, so I've decided just to keep it on. I am number 6,418 of 8,000. Which is quite a high number, but I don't really care. It's just one for your collection. And then if we open it. We have another digital copy, ultraviolet digital copy code for both movies. So our first disc 
is Batman Begins Blu-ray. Our second disc is um, Batman Begins DVD. Our third disc is the Dark Knight Blu-ray film. Our fourth disc is the Dark Knight Special Features on Blu-ray. And finally, our Dark Knight DVD. Um, what I can say about this is it's really cheaply made. Um, you have to proper push to get the discs in. Um, but what can you do? Um, this probably won't go out of print either, so you'll be able to pick it up. Um, because there's talk of a trilogy steel book coming out, which would be quite good. I might get that as well if it does emerge. Um, thanks for watching this. Well, six minute odd update. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.